guys, Thunders of Symbols here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Corey Watson's Mack Cruiser Liner that he came out with about a week and a half ago. Um, so let's go ahead and access modular. I got a shit ton of mods in here. Sorry to find my friends. You can wait for it to load. Cruiser Liner. Customized configuration. Here's what it looks like. You know, based off the stock. If I hit this button, you can do the 83. You can go 1978 day cam. That's this little tiny, little tiny thing. 83. Watch the grill. It changes. That's that's pretty much it. Um, old grill. Yes. Um, 78. This is basically the length of the cab through the years here. Uh, we got a sleeper, which is there. Honestly, that looks pretty nice. 90 inch sleeper, 1983. So that honestly doesn't look that bad. So we're going to leave it as that. Um, if you played ATS, you know that this is the. Oh, that. That. Here's the engines you can put in it. There's the one that comes from a factory. Of course, I picked the Detroit because I'm a Detroit diesel guy. Um, transmissions, you, know, you have all your regular speeds. Interior, you can have the 70s. Blue, brown, red. Blue, 80s, blue, brown, red. I run with the 70s outside and the 80s interior. So, with this one, you have number one. I skipped over this one for a reason. Custom colors, cruiser liner skin. That's the Corey. That's the guy that made the mod. Canada. Interesting. Nice. That's like an that's like Ohio State right there. You know, you just got all your different paint jobs and liveries. The one I was excited for the most was this one. It's Love Machines from Convoy. You know, we got a mighty convoy working through the night. Yeah, that's that's all. Um there's a lot of things around here that you can put on like a condenser this mod that's a different mod light adapters antennas dogs plates you know, your regular ATS stuff uh, if you if you've played ATS then you know what I'm what I'm talking about what I'm doing you know, customize it to the best of your ability no oh excuse me your interior, uh, no different. You know, you have your this and this and this. So actually, we're gonna hit confirm. Exit. Uh, let's go down here to truck manager because I actually have two of them. I have this one. They're both the same. So I got this one, which is the seventy sleeper with the bow bar. I have this really short one. It's got this on it. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's drive the longer one. Yes. Um, I'll review the Kenworth here soon as well. Um, I have quite a few mods that I want to go ahead. I'm sure you can see them on the list. i got to get my game a minute to load. There's a lot of mods. Everybody just crashed. About to find out. Anyway. Um. That's working. Got to give it a minute. Uh, but my favorite truck is probably the K100E that I normally drive. Why is my game running so... So doo-doo, man. Come on, game. Thank you. Come on, work. Damn it. Uh, it's crashed. Oh. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Let it know. That's a, that's a really nice rig. I like that. Oh, okay. Well, guys, uh, give me just a second, and I'll be right back when I get the game loaded back up. Alrighty. After you know some loading and my PC having you know give it a little restart, here's what that Mac cruiser looks like on the outside. Now I've got, like I said, the 
the lob machine thing on it from Convoy. If you haven't seen it, it's an awesome movie. Uh, here's the outside of my truck. Here's what I got it modified. I got the antennas on it. I got the Ram Air, stuff like that. Uh, you know, I got the old-fashioned Mac on the back. Stuff like that. If I hit one on my keyboard, I've got the 70s interior direction on this one. i got to change that. That's why I have the thing up in the bottom right, because I physically cannot see that speedometer at all. Um, so you go ahead and start the truck up. Um, this is about the one of the one of the only truck mods that I've seen where the clutch pedal and stuff like that actually work. I'll let off the clutch. See how it's going on? I think if I put it in gear it'll go down. I know I just stalled it. That's alright. Um the parking brake and stuff like that actually works. There's the trolley lever, which is the um, trailer brake, turn signal up and down your wheel, obviously. And I don't think does that handle actually work? Yeah, it does. So there's the window. I of course got the Detroit in it, like I said. And I think it's appropriate that we haul livestock from here to um from the Las Vegas area. Go ahead. Yep, we're located that to Las Vegas. Use. Yes. It's like the trailer's been attached. All right. We go out. Job market. Cargo market. Las Vegas. Prim. Kingman. St. George. I'm looking for where there's... Okay, so we're going from Phoenix to Yuma. That I can do. I have a mod in here that makes me a lot of money. If I do this, what the hell did I just do? I don't know. Um, and I do this. Was it Phoenix? Yes. Let's go to Phoenix. Do you guys just love it when your GPS lady is so annoying? It's like, lady, quiet. I know where I'm going. So my truck's already fired. Neutral. Turn the lights on. Second. Third. Fourth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me that's an hour away. Oh, the hold on, the hold on, hold on, maps. Oh, okay, it's not that. Okay, I thought it was worse than what it was. Um, at some point in the future, probably right after this load, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this recording and make the K100E recording or maybe the GMC Astro I don't know we'll see um, the Astro is another one of Corey's mods that he made himself and it was 25 bucks or something like that you do have to be a part of a Facebook group to access them unfortunately that's all right I became a part of that Facebook group paid him and that's how I have the mods that's my Maxi Mac. Just cruising down the lane. I am playing with the wheel, that's why you hear the gear lever and the switches. I wish there was a way I could turn that down, but you know, I paid a hundred bucks for the wheel used. You know, what do you what do you mean to do? It's got it's got the, the pedals, the shifter, the wheel, all that fun stuff. You know, one Arizona, I need this I wanna see something really quick. Just while I'm while I'm thinking about it. Hershey Ruby Beal wins the Arizona. 
in this game, and I'm mad there's not. There's a Winslow. If you got that Winslow Arizona reference, I am proud of you. For those of you who don't get it, there was a song back in the, in the year 1977 called Take It Easy by the Eagles. And standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. That was part of the... There's a girl on a flatbed floor. That's why I said it was Winslow, Arizona. Then that would be a good reference to have. That many people are going to get it. But the older... Older crowd will. Now, I'm by far not the best truck driver in the world. So don't complain to me about it. Let's get on the freeway here. Well, half into 12th gear. 13th. Fourteenth. Care fifteen. I'm gonna drop it and to go over to the car can actually get on. Sixteenth gear. I don't, know what they're, I don't know what they're slamming on their brakes for. What they are. I was a 55 when I'm doing 72 miles an hour. I don't care, honestly. I'm empty. So, 17th. We're just going to boogie. I don't love when people don't know how to drive in this game. I, I literally just got over a game. Screw off. I don't care. Just drop it down to 14th gear. Try to eat up this hill. Now, I am so much better at driving a cab over in this game than I am a... I am a driving, um, conventional truck. Cab overs are my specialties. I don't know why they just they that's how they just are. I can drive cab over so much better than I can a conventional truck. And my friends know that, so that's why they leave the 100 the like K100E because it's a Steam Workshop mod in their uh, in their games when I play. Because they know I like to drive. I'm so much better with a cab over than I am a conventional truck. Honestly, it's a little easier to drive too because you sit on the wheels. Too far. Hit that cargo market. Uh, yes. Drop it. First here, I'm gonna let it walk by it's all by itself. I wish I could float gears with this, uh, with this gear lever and I have to push the clutch in every single time. But it doesn't recognize that I'm trying to change gears without it, without the clutch being pressed in. If that makes sense. 
I think that's a pretty good explanation of it. Alright, let's see where in the hell am I trying where the hell am I putting this? This beautiful, beautiful Mac trailer and rig. I know I can't back a trailer up with a shit sometimes. Leave me alone. I'm used to driving my 100D. And this is why when I back trailers up, I have that up so I can see what the hell I'm doing on the other side of my rig. I know that's not realistic, but give me a break. I'm here to have fun now, play stupidly realistic. That's fine. Parking brake for neutral to try to load. And I think they're loading cattle. Could be wrong. It looks like cattle. Start the rig. Cattle. Yep. Drop it in first gear. Take that away. Leave that up. Take the brake off that might. up just a little bit I mean if you look down you can see the I think the pedals moving I don't know I can't get my I can't get my, I don't know you guys might be able to see it I I can't I might as well just leave it in six here honest to god I'm gonna have to put it back down at first anyway. Let's go ahead and check left and right. Oh, it's already good. Let the Mac just eat. Sounds about right. Let's go ahead and make this right hand turn. Eighth gear. Shove it on into ninth. Bring it back into tenth. Eleventh. Twelfth. Go ahead and hop over on the interstate here. And I will be back when this load is complete. Pacific. Cool. I wish I knew where that's going. Stop the truck. Cool. Enter. Um, for right now, let's do I'm in a hurry because I want to go ahead and review the 100. So, um, with that being said. Oh, you're going all the way up to Washington? Um, good. You're going all the way to Missouri. Okay. Uh, external. Can't bring it here. I'll, I'll come back with the... Uh, I'll come back with my... Hard E for that load of Limba. So, for right now, guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. That's in the next couple of days. There should be a K100E video popping up for me as well. I expect me to do some more American Trucks and Yard content, maybe with Ace. He's on PC now, but he doesn't have a mic set up on PC yet. With that being said, thank you for watching. I appreciate the views, and I will get back to you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.